The head of the House Intelligence Committee, Democrat Adam Schiff, said on Sunday that the panel he chairs is focusing its investigation into Russian election interference on President Donald Trump's pursuit of a Trump Tower in Moscow and possible money laundering by the Trump Organization on behalf of Russia. The Moscow Trump Tower deal is among the most disturbing because that's something the president was pursuing uh, throughout the midst of the presidential campaign while saying he was having no business dealings with the Russians. That was a deal that stood to make him more money than any other deal in his life. We're bringing Felix Sater in to talk about Moscow Trump Tower uh, in a couple weeks. We're also looking at persistent allegations that the Russians have been laundering money through the Trump Organization. I don't know that that's true. We'll need to talk to some of the banks uh, that have been doing business with Mr. Trump, like Deutsche Bank, which has had a history of laundering Russian money. Last week, Schiff said Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, was fully cooperative during closed-door testimony and that he'll be back for more questioning on Wednesday. Cohen pleaded guilty to lying to Congress about the Moscow Trump Tower negotiations. He speaks in a code. And said last week he was following what he thought were implicit directions from Trump to do so. The White House denies any wrongdoing by the president. Witch hunt. And on Saturday, Trump slammed the investigations into whether his campaign colluded with Moscow. So they don't have anything with Russia. There's no collusion. So now they go and morph into, let's inspect every deal he's ever done. But Schiff said he believes there's already direct evidence of collusion. I think there is direct evidence in the emails uh, from the Russians uh, through their intermediary offering dirt on Hillary Clinton as part of what is described in writing as the Russian government effort to help elect Donald Trump. There is an acceptance of that offer in writing from the president's son, Don Jr. That to me is direct evidence. The issue from a criminal point of view is whether there is proof beyond a reasonable doubt of a criminal conspiracy. Also on Sunday, the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee said he would seek documents from more than 60 people and entities as part of a probe into possible obstruction of justice and abuse of power by the president. They're trying to take you out with bullshit, okay? With bull